This road is pretty narrow, right? If Hoshino was to swing out that GTR, he could block the entire road. Passing would be virtually impossible with oversteering. Nobody could get through that, FD or otherwise. I hadn't intended to pull out the flashy stuff like this. But if that's how the kid wants to play, then I'm all for it. These people came out to see a race. Let's give them one. Something they can tell their grandkids about. They're saying both cars have started to drift. Joshima, you have any clue why he would do that? I don't get it. I thought it was common sense to do whatever you could to save your tires. But both the GTR and the FD are wearing the hell out of them. Hmm. When it comes to being behind the wheel, common sense can sometimes take a back seat to logic. The two of them are alike in that way. We haven't had a dull moment so far tonight. This just keeps getting better and better. Both have something to prove, and either could win. There's a perfectly logical reason why Kozo Hoshino began to drift. Keisuke, however, simply felt the need to follow suit. Not surprising, he loves to be stubborn. He'd rather give in to his impulses than to think about this from a logical point of view. Countering a drift with a drift. If there's one thing that Kozu Hoshino and Keisuke have in common, it's their ability to be stubborn to the point of irrationality. That's how this whole thing started. And I sincerely doubt either one of them is willing to swallow their pride and end this. Damn it, the tires! I would imagine you're feeling pretty good about now, Hoshino. But the GTR can't continue to drift like this. You know that as well as I do. From the weight of the car to the wear on the tires, I don't think this race can go on much longer. It shouldn't be too long now. Case K's gotta have an ace up his sleeve. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We don't know anything for sure. Crap! It's veering to the outside on its own! <laughs> <laughs> 